told me that must be a really good feeling winning tonight. Delighted. I, mean, I love winning any game, but um, yeah, obviously there's, there's been pressure um, because we knew the situation we're in and we're still in. So from that point of view, I think the lads deserve a massive pat on the back. I've asked them to play a slightly different way today, um, but we've been really solid at the back. I thought the lads in front, both in wide areas and in the central areas, have worked their socks off, as have the strikers. And we knew it was going to be a game like that because Wheelstone are a possession-based side and they're good. They're decent in the first two thirds, particularly of the, of the pitch. Um, but I thought we defended our goal and defended the box very, very well as, as a group of people. So we eventually took one of the chances. I thought we actually had the better chances in the game, although we didn't have as much possession as them. Um, but 1-0 away from home is probably the best result in football as far as I'm concerned, so I'm pleased with it. As you say, they, they did play some good stuff and they like to keep possession, didn't they? Is that sometimes difficult when a team likes to do that? Because in fairness, I feel like we coped well with it. They didn't, like you say, they didn't have too many yeah. chances of no. So but yeah. is that difficult? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, I think it's more difficult for players because, it, you know, they play football to have the ball. Every player does that. But sometimes you've got to accept it, that the, the task on the evening was to make sure if we get the clean sheet. I felt we've carried a goal threat in every game we've played. And I keep saying that to the players. I told you, my, my message will always be consistent. And that's the case. And how we got the ball in, into their box was always going to be important, whether it was a set play or in fluid play. And thankfully, having having missed a good chance or had, had hit the bar with one chance just after half time, I was delighted that Tab was kept going in the right place and he was there to, to bundle the ball home in the end. So, like I said, I would never get too high when we win and I never get too low when we lose. Um, and as of the second emotion, I'm yet to feel that. So, from that point of view, let's just carry on as we are. Well, a clean sheet is something that this team hasn't seen much of this season. So is that definitely a good step in the direct, right direction yeah, for you? Without a doubt. I mean, listen, you, you, teams that are successful are built on very, very good defences, plat defensive platforms, and that give you something to attack with. If you keep conceding goals, you know, on a regular, regular basis, every game, it's very difficult because you have to score more goals. So, like I said, one nil is the best score line uh, away from home that I've ever experienced and, and I think you get more out of it because you know the part of the side that are, you know, Austin, they meant to be in the team to stop the ball going in the goal have done their job and the, the group have scored another goal so like I said not getting too excited because it's not over you know as much as I've not not shown a lot of emotion about it you know inside I'm absolutely thrilled and delighted uh, to have added points and when I finish with this I'll go and have a look at how everybody else has got on I still don't know and unbeaten still under you since you've come in so you know that's that's got to yeah. be a lovely record to have under your belt hasn't it yeah. well it's nice to get another win really I mean at the end of the day I can always set teams up to stay in games and hopefully we hang on but I think more more than that was required tonight in fairness to Stu and his group they haven't been on a fantastic run so had we come here and, and let them reverse what their fortunes have been we'd have been looked at as weak so I, I just felt it was it was something we needed to handle and then try and expose an area where we, we feel we could score and, and thankfully on the evening we got it right and we spoke didn't we before the game about that you know tight schedule kind of uh, effect on the players but that was a fantastic effort from them right until the final whistle wasn't it oh listen they'll be one or two really really tired and sore in the morning but they'll have a, they'll have a rest day and i'll look after them on thursday but we'll be on the bus on on friday on the way up to york um training on the way so look it is what it is it's a relentless schedule for everybody we just happen to have had an extra game more than most at this time of the season but i'm, I'm you know i think since I've walked in the door, I've had nothing but positive reactions from anything that I've asked the players to do. Um, some of them probably aren't comfortable doing a lot of the things that I'm asking them to do, or some of the things, but in football, that's what you've got to do. You've got to be a player who is needed, not a player who needs things or needs to be looked after too much. And I want, I want, young, I want young guys to, to grow up and be a bit more man. Just finally, Oli Harfield was missing from the starting mm -hmm. lineup tonight. Can you give us a bit more info on that? Yeah, he got a he got a heavy whack on um, Saturday, fairly early in the game to be fair, but he played through it. Um, but he's got an issue with his rib. We don't think it'll be, you know, I don't think he's done for the season or anything like that. Um, but he just had a little bit too much discomfort that if he did get another knock on it, we'd have probably had to take him off fairly early. So, listen, I thought I thought Miles come in and did a fantastic job. Like I said, it was a very different game. We weren't as attacking in general, but when we were attacking. We were a little bit more direct with our attack, so both Ryan and Miles didn't have as much of the ball as they maybe had against Scunthorpe in terms of Ollie and, and Ryan. So it sort of worked well. And it gives me a headache now because, you know, like anybody who started, Tommy's come back and I thought did, you know, doing himself no harm at all in my eyes. He's a he's a workaholic. He you know he works hard and he's he's honest and he's putting a hell of a shift up there alongside Tav and Jack.
Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.